Hi students, we are now on the third week of our discussion for second quarter in Mathematics 7. For part one, we will be discussing translating English phrases to mathematical phrases and English sentences to mathematics sentences. Here is our most essential learning competency as well as our reference. And to begin, I have here a set of words. Can you group the following terms based on their relation to the four fundamental operations? Our four fundamental operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. If you have a paper, you can write them. Okay, I'll give you 15 seconds to do that. All right, so if we are going to classify those words, the words in red or with um, the red words are under addition, the blue words are under subtraction. For multiplication, it is color blue and for division, it is the pink words. Okay, and in a table, we have there the summary. So for addition, we have these terms, add, plus, sum. Additionally, we have the word more than and altogether. For subtraction, we have the word subtract, decreased, take away, less than, minus, difference, reduced by, and diminished by. For multiplication, we I use the words multiply, times, product, of, or per. And as for division, we use the words divided by, quotient, shared, ratio of, split between, and of course, the word divide. Here are some other terms and symbol that we will use in our discussion. This is the symbol for less than, the symbol for more than, or greater than this is the symbol for less than or equal to or in short at most this is the symbol for greater than or equal to or at least and the symbol for not equal to let's start with translating english phrase into mathematical phrase and vice versa we have here two columns in the first column we have the english phrase and in the second column, we have the mathematical phrase. So for example number one, we have to write the sum of three and four. So it is in English phrase. If we are going to write that in mathematical phrase, we just have to identify the clue words. Okay, so in this example, we have the word sum. And we've classified sum under the operation addition so we write that as three plus four three plus four for example two we have ten decreased by seven so again our clue word there is the word or phrase decreased by and decreased by is under the operation subtraction so we write that as ten minus 7. Next, we have the phrase a number less than 11. Again, a number less than 11. Since it is an unknown number, so we will use letter N to represent that number. And then we know that less than is under subtraction. And then we can write 11. But we have to remember that the subtrahend will be the quantity that comes before the keyword less than and after it will be the minuend. It means that 11, 11 is our minuend since it follows the word less than 
and the number is our subtrahend. So our mathematical phrase is 11 minus n. For example, 4, we have 6 times 5. So that is very easy. We just write 6 times 5 or for us to not get confused with the symbol 4 times and the letter X, we can use a parenthesis. So 6 parenthesis 5, that means that we are multiplying 6 and 5. Next, 12 split between 2. Split between means division. That means that we write it in mathematical phrase as 12 divided by 2. Or another way of writing quotient is using fraction. So 12 is our numerator and our divisor. 2 is in the denominator. Next, we write 9 more than twice 8 in mathematical phrase. So before that, we have to write twice 8 first. And we can write that as 2 times 8. Okay, again, we can use a parenthesis to show the product of two numbers. So 2 parenthesis 8, that means 2 times 8. And we just add 9 because it says they are more than. So we have 9 plus 2 parenthesis 8. Or if you still want to use this symbol, the X symbol for multiplication, you can still use it. And for the last example, we have the product of a number and 2 divided by 3. It sounds complex, but we have to look carefully into the, cent uh, into the phrase. Okay. So a number is again represented by letter N, since we don't know what number is that. And then we have to multiply it by 2, because it says the product of a number and 2. When we do that, we can write that as 2N, or 2 times N, or 2 parentheses N. But since it is a number and a letter, so we just write it as 2N. Divided by 3, it means that uh, we can write it in a fraction, so 2n over 3, or simply 2n divided by 3. Next, let us discuss translating English sentence into mathematical sentence and vice versa. For this one, we are going to include um, inequalities or the equal symbol. So that is the difference for English or English sentence or mathematical sentence. We use um, equal to, not equal to, and the other inequalities as well as the equal sign. But for the phrases, we simply write our expressions. For the first example, we write twice a number less 5 is 60. Since we don't know the numbers, so we let x be the number. Okay, this time we use x to represent whatever those numbers are. Okay, first we have to write twice a number. So we write that as 3x and then the term less is related or similar to subtraction and then 5 is here means that we have to um, get or we use the equal sign to represent the word is so if we are going to write that in a sentence we will have 3x minus 5 is equal to 60. next a number minus 6 is 10. So in here we have the term a number again, but since we don't know the number, so we let that be x minus means the minus sign and then 6 is here is um, represented by the equal sign. So we have the mathematical sentence x minus 6 is equal to 10. For example, 3, we have 6 added to 9 is 15. 
I think this is easier. We just have to add 6 and 9 to get the sum, which is 15. Next, 4 times a number is equal to 16. Again, we don't know what the number is, so we represent that as x, but we have to multiply it by 4. So we write that as 4x, and then is means equal to 16. So 4x is equal to 16. That is the mathematical sentence for this English sentence. Next, the quotient of 64 and 8 is 8. When we say quotient, that means division. Okay, and the word is is again um, represented by equal sign. So the mathematical sentence is 64 divided by 8 is equal to 8. Next, we have twice a number minus 11 is greater than 20. We have there the phrase twice a number that means 2x minus for the minus sign 11 is greater than. Again, it included the word is. It means that we will use the symbol for greater than and then 20. So the mathematical sentence is 2x minus 11 is greater than 20. And for the last example, we have 3 fourths of a number is less than or equal to 24. 3 fourths of a number can be written as 3 fourth times x. Then we have is less than or equal to. The symbol for that is this. And that is equal to 24. Our answer will then be 3 fourth times x is less than or equal to 24. Now try the following. Let's try to translate the following English phrases to sentences or vice versa. For number one, x plus five, we can say or we can read that as the sum of a number and five or five added to x and so on. For number two, we can write or we can read that as the sum of the product of 4 and 5 and 3. Or simply, the product of 4 and 5 increased by 3. For number 3, we can state that as a number divided by 2 is equal to negative 7. For number 4, we read that as 4 is less than the quotient of 10 and 2, or 4 is less than 10 halves. Okay. For number 5, 5 less than a number is written as x minus 5. Because if you will remember from our example previously, the word that follows after the word less than is our minuend. Okay. That's why our minuend here is x, which is the unknown number, and our subtrahend is 5. Lastly, for number 6, the product of 2 and 7 is less than or equal to n. We write that as 2 times 7 is, equal, is less than or equal to n. So those are um, the examples on how to translate. Please follow the next video for the other terms related to algebra. Bye!